A genetics assistant accidentally creates a clone of his crush, resulting in unexpected events as he attempts to conceal the replica and navigate his emotions for the original woman. While at a bar, a hardworking lab assistant, Max Fleming, shares his romantic frustrations with his bitter colleague, Henry, who believes that women will only control men. On their way back to campus, the co-worker complains about how challenging it is to comprehend women because of their genetics. Hearing this, the uninterested scientist shifts the topic to work, informing his fellow scientists that the university president will observe their hyper-replicators testing, a cloning device he developed for the professor. Along their path, they come across their colleague Felix, who focuses more on impressing the instructor than helping them with their work. In the laboratory, Professor Dr. Jonas Frommer speaks with President Chumley, explaining that it all takes a blood sample to initiate the cloning process. He also claims to have built the machine, disregarding Max's efforts. During the demonstration, the hyper-replicator successfully clones Fluffy the hamster, resulting in a Fluffy 2 replica. As a result, the impressed president proposes showcasing their achievement at the conference. After Chumley leaves, the professor orders the scientists to carefully examine the rodent to ensure it is a perfect clone for their upcoming presentation in a week. The consequences are significant, as failure could cost them their associate professorship. As Max and Henry walk on the campus, the former starts feeling overwhelmed because of Dr. Jonas's credit-grabbing behavior and the time pressure. In response, his friend proposes that he consider casually spending time with a woman to ease himself. Suddenly, the scientist spots Kate, a beautiful magazine reporter reading a molecular biology book. Despite Henry's encouragement to pursue her, the researcher walks away, thinking he's out of her league. To their surprise, the reporter approaches them, revealing that she interviewed Dr. Jonas earlier regarding the hyper-replicator. Henry then interjects, pointing out that his colleague has comprehensive knowledge about the machine. Upon hearing this, she immediately becomes interested in talking to the scientist to develop her story. In the lab, Max shows the cloned rodent to Kate. While the reporter holds Fluffy too, the scientist shares that his interest in cloning started from a cartoon episode. He also believes replication can help preserve endangered species and aid in organ transplants. However, their conversation is interrupted when the hamster bites the journalist's finger, causing it to bleed. Scared of the blood, Max closes his eyes and directs the woman to where she can find the band-aid. However, while searching for it, the woman unknowingly shakes her finger accidentally dropping her blood onto a sample disc used for cloning. Afterward, Max guides Kate out of the campus because she's running late for an appointment. There, he discovers she's dating Derek, a famous musician. Before leaving, the reporter thanks the scientist for his time, noting that meeting him is inspirational. That night, the lab assistant works at the lab. Upon testing the hyper-replicator, he inserts the disc, unaware that Kate's blood is on it. Consequently, the machine clones the journalist, causing the shocked scientist to pass out. Upon regaining consciousness that morning, Max discovers replicator Kate hiding underneath the table. He immediately realizes that the clone has limited language skills and exhibits uncivilized behavior. When he realizes Dr. Jonas is about to arrive, the scientist panics and pushes the replica out of the window to hide her. Shortly after meeting the professor, he rushes to find the clone to take her to his apartment. A frantic Max then asks for help from Henry, who immediately suggests they teach Replicate to behave normally. When the scientist asserts that the woman is a blank slate, his friend recommends programming her to act like a man to make her the perfect woman. The scientist then considers the idea, thinking of all the possibilities they can do. After teaching Replicate how to speak, they teach her to be interested in sports, bar hopping, and games, which she quickly picks up. Later, the clone also learns about intimacy and wants to explore it with Max. When the scientist turns down her advances, the replica asks for a volunteer from the customers in the bar, prompting the anxious researcher to sleep with her and eventually date her. Before going to work the following day, Max reminds Replicate of some house rules, such as not leaving the apartment and calling him in an emergency. Upon arriving at the lab, the researcher encounters the original Kate, who will stay for a week for her story's development and has just broken up with her boyfriend. Suddenly, Dr. Jonas calls Max and his fellow researchers, informing them that Fluffy 2 is acting wild, banging its head on the cage. Witnessing this, Felix theorizes that the cloning process has transformed the hamster's pain receptors into pleasure ones, explaining its enjoyment of banging its head against the wall. However, Max defends the rodent, stating that its behavior is due to a lack of experience. He suggests exposing it to other hamsters to learn proper behavior. After completing their work for the day, the scientist hurriedly returns home, declining Kate's request for an interview. However, upon reaching his apartment, he sees his place in utter disaster. Having spent the day playing matches and imitating television combat skills, Replicate broke the door and caused extensive damage to the furniture. Before Max can scold her for the mess, the clone requests to buy undergarments, prompting the scientist to take the woman to the department store. While the replica browses the clothes, the researcher runs into the original Kate, who is also shopping for a similar item. However, when the journalist invites him to do the interview, the researcher politely declines her request. To prevent the two Kates from seeing each other, Max selects an undergarment for the original Kate and guides her to the 
fitting room. Afterward, he hastily grabs Replicate and attempts to lead her out of the store. However, the clone reminds him that she'll try the undergarments, prompting the researcher to direct her to the exact fitting area where the journalist is. Realizing his error, he rushes to retrieve the replica, but mistakenly grabs the wrong woman. In his attempt to return to the changing room, Max witnesses the two Kates approaching each other, both under the impression that they are looking at their reflections in the mirror. This sight fills him with a profound sense of relief. After seeing them return to their dressing booths, the scientist seizes the opportunity and brings the clone out of the store. On their way to the car, Replicate suddenly desires an intimate moment with Max. Without hesitation, she pushes him against another car's hood in the parking lot. However, the scientist rejects the woman's advances, explaining they should take their relationship slowly. Unbeknownst to the couple, Felix witnesses their inappropriate public behavior, prompting him to rush and drive off. The next day in the lab, the original Kate confronts Max about abruptly leaving her in the department store. She then tells him he owes her an interview, which he accepts. Nearby, Felix listens to their conversation, getting even more suspicious. Suspicious. At home, Replicate watches a sitcom about two women fighting over a guy, triggering her possessive feelings toward the scientist. Motivated by jealousy, the clone calls the lab and threatens Kate, who discloses that she'll be hanging out with the researcher. To confront Max personally, she wears a beautiful pink dress and aggressively drives a pizza delivery truck to get to the university, almost hitting the pedestrians. Upon reaching her destination, Replicate learns Max and Kate hung out for lunch which angers her. Suddenly, Dr. Jonas appears and assumes she's the journalist, asking her to care for Fluffy too. As part of her revenge plan, the clone spins the hamster's wheel, making the animal dizzy. This behavior catches the attention of Henry, who assumes she's the original Kate. The replica then distracts him with her seductive antics while she slips a hydrogen sulfate solution into the rodent's food. Upon returning to the lab, Max informs the journalist that he needs help obtaining blood samples from the hamster. Before joining him in the facility, she excuses herself to the restroom unaware that her clone is in one of the cubicles. When Replicate comes out of the bathroom, she punches Max for going out with another girl. Realizing that the woman is the replica, the scientist takes her outside to explain that he only hung out with Kate for work. When the clone confronts if he's interested in the journalist, the scientist denies it. Relieved, she asks him to ditch work and spend time with her at the bar. When Max refuses due to lab work, the clone threatens to find someone else. Faced with this situation, the anxious researcher reluctantly accepts her invitation, but requests a brief moment to inform his lab mates. Subsequently, he hands her cash to purchase food from the nearby food cart while she waits for him. Meanwhile, Henry flirts with the original Kate in the lab, assuming she's the fake one interested in sleeping with him. Suddenly, Max interrupts and enlightens his colleague about the truth. As the scientist prepares to leave, the journalist suddenly informs him that Fluffy 2 appears sick. Just then, President Shumley shows up inquiring about the project's progress. However, when the researcher tries to obtain a blood sample from the rodent to evaluate its condition, the hamster unexpectedly explodes, causing a chaotic mess within the lab. Worried about the potential connection between the replica's explosion and the cloning process, Max quickly leaves the campus to find Replicate, whom he finds with an upset stomach. The researcher rushes her to the hospital, fearing that she might also explode. To his relief, it turns out that the woman just had too much soda. Meanwhile, Kate discovers a used hydrogen sulfate bottle in the laboratory, realizing it caused the hamster's explosion. After Replicate gets discharged, the couple returns home, where the clone suddenly wants to have pizza and watch wrestling. When Max asks if they can talk, she playfully wrestles with him, causing the scientist to hit his voicemail. Suddenly, Max hears Henry's voice, informing him that Dr. Jonas is upset because he ditched his work. Following this, Kate also left him a message. Upon hearing the journalist's name, Replicate confronts the researcher about the woman, but the scientist explains that she's just a reporter covering his work, subtly implying that he likes her company. Upon hearing this, the relieved clone initiates an intimate moment with him. However, the researcher rejects her, reasoning he has a headache. The following day, Max vents his frustrations to Henry, sharing how the clone's actions are causing chaos in his apartment. He also acknowledges their mistake of not exposing the replica to female influences, which has led to her behaving more like a guy. However, the latter argues that Replicate's masculine behavior makes her a perfect woman, but the scientist disagrees, stating that the clone's self-centered nature and lack of listening skills make him feel like he's dating himself. Suddenly, Max wonders how the original Kate would react if she found out about her clone, believing the reporter deserves to know. However, his friend mocks him for having feelings for the journalist, who isn't interested in him, over the replica who wants to be with him. When they return to the lab, a disappointed Dr. Jonas tells the scientist about Kate's discovery, that the hamster exploded because of hydrogen sulfate feeding. With just a day left before his presentation, the professor pressures the researcher to redo the replication perfectly, or he'll face job loss. He then invites the journalist to his home for an interview that night. After spending time with Dr. Jonas, Kate accidentally leaves her notebook on the professor's desk, leading him 
to discover that she is giving Max full credit for the Hyper Replicator. Shortly after investigating on his own, Felix visits the instructor, informing him that Max took a woman to the hospital with the same brain patterns as the cloned hamster. Realizing that the scientist has perfected human cloning, the instructor tasks Felix to find Replicate. While the diligent researcher is engrossed in reworking the replication, Henry takes on the responsibility of looking after Replicate. During their conversation, the clone desires a casual relationship and complains that Max has a different preference. Shortly after, the promiscuous replica initiates an intimate moment with her ex-boyfriend's colleague. In the lab, the scientist grows increasingly frustrated with his work, but Kate offers encouragement, reminding him that even renowned scientists make numerous attempts before achieving success. The reporter then assures him that his machine will positively impact people's lives and suggests that he may eventually receive recognition for his contributions. After sleeping with the replicate, a bound Henry shares about his ex-girlfriend who he was supposed to marry. However, the apathetic clone interrupts, inviting him to be intimate again. When the tired man refuses, the replica leaves him restrained in the bedroom and heads to the bar to find someone else. In the lab, Max successfully clones a hamster with Kate's support. Suddenly, the journalist asks if the person who called the facility the previous day was his ex-girlfriend. The scientist confirms it, mentioning the similarities between her and Replicate, but notes that she also resembles him too much. When Kate asks about his relationship status, the researcher confirms that he's not seeing anyone, prompting them to level up their connection. Meanwhile, Henry breaks free and searches for Replicate in the bar, who is revealed to be in a convenience store purchasing some drinks. The replica stumbles upon her original version's ex-boyfriend Derek, who recognizes her as the original Kate. Though the musician apologizes for cheating on her, the promiscuous woman tolerates his wrongdoing, inviting him to explore intimacy with two more women. Meanwhile, Max and Kate head to the professor's house. In a sweet gesture, the scientist presents the reporter with a white rose, prompting her to lean in and kiss him. Upon entering the house, the journalist interrupts their moment and politely excuses herself to freshen up. Shortly after, Derek arrives at the same house with Replicate and two other women. Following them are Henry and Felix, who are both looking for the clone. Upon entering, the replica spots Max. Seizing the moment, the fake Kate leads the initiative and kisses the scientist, which he reciprocates, assuming she is the journalist. Meanwhile, the musician finds the original Kate, believing she's the fake one who agreed to have an intimate group session with him earlier. After sensing that something seems wrong, the reporter excuses herself and heads toward the hallway. Simultaneously, the replica interrupts her moment with Max and goes to the corridor, leading to an unexpected encounter between the two Kates. While the journalist is shocked to meet her clone, Replicate immediately adores her figure. However, Dr. Jonas interrupts their moment with Felix's help and puts the women into a deep sleep. He intends to steal credit for Max's discovery by presenting the two Kates as test subjects in his presentation on perfect human cloning. The professor then brings the two Kates to the lab and securely ties them to the beds. He assigns Felix and two guards to ensure they do not escape. After discovering he's in the same room with Derek, Henry, and the two other women, Max frantically rises and searches the house for Kate. When he drops by Dr. Jonas's room, the scientist sees a note and realizes that the professor has revised the presentation. He informs Henry about this, pointing out that if the instructor successfully presents the women, they'd be lab rats for the rest of their lives. Because of this, the duo devises a plan to rescue the two Kates the following day. Using Dr. Jonas's hair from the soap, they clone the professor, calling him Rupley Jonas, and use him to get past Felix and the two guards. After releasing the women, the fake professor wanders and goes to the auditorium, where his original counterpart will do his presentation. While Dr. Jonas rehearses his speech, he spots Felix walking in the hallway, prompting him to remind that he should be guarding the Kates. On their way back to the lab, Felix and the guards see the fleeing women entering the backstage door. After following them inside, Replicate kicks Felix, causing him to hit one of the Hyper Replicator's pipes accidentally. Meanwhile, Dr. Jonas is about to start his presentation when his brown-nosed lab assistant calls his attention backstage to inform him about the two Kates who escaped. After the original professor excuses himself, Rapley Jonas suddenly takes over the podium and says an inappropriate word, surprising the audience, including President Chumley. To lure Repley Jonas towards them, Max and Henry bait him with a cookie. Shortly after, their original Dr. Jonas returns on stage to demonstrate the cloning process. However, the hyper-replicator malfunctions in the middle of his presentation. Consequently, the professor exposes Max for cloning humans in the machine, directing the guards to bring two Kates on stage as evidence. However, Henry and the two women claim they did the cloning to protect Max, confusing the university president on who did it. Suddenly, Chomley interrupts their argument and commands Felix to tell the truth. Surprisingly, the brown-nosed assistant reveals that the professor had planned the human cloning, leading to his arrest. Following the event, Dr. Jonas makes headlines with his human replication scheme. Max becomes a project director, focusing on cloning animals for conservation, while Kate, his girlfriend, achieves her goal of featuring him on the cover of Modern Science magazine. Meanwhile, Henry dates the boyish replicate, who dominates him in their relationship. 
Lastly, Rapley Jonas escapes from the research facility and unexpectedly finds himself at the White House podium, uttering an inappropriate word during a speech. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.